you you mentioned the term dissident right lately and this is something that first off i maybe you can speak to this i'm not sure who really coined the term uh, maybe you can speak to that in a minute but but i wanted to ask you basically for who you would put in that category um you know who who you think is in that group and let's start there and then somewhere in there you mentioned earlier carl schmidt and friend enemy distinction um gatekeeping because there's people in the dissident right from what i can tell and i i more or less say yeah i'm, I'm gonna call myself a reactionary i call myself a christian reactionary i say that i, I i've at times said yeah i think i'm overall in the dissident right uh but there's times man that there's people in this group and if you don't agree with them on every single syllable that comes out of their demagogue's mouth or their leader's mouth, then you're out and basically we don't want any part of you. When the way I see the dissident right is it's a pretty big camp. Now you got the Republican Party, which is a huge camp with all people from everywhere from Caitlyn Jenner to, you know, people more like us. But then you've got uh, you've got other people within the dissident right, and it's kind of a large tent in my mind as well. So who would you characterize or, or who would you label as dissident right? What does it mean? And real quick, do you know who coined the term? Um, I can't say for sure if this person coined the term, but I know one of the, I know one person that was, I think, pretty early on with it was a, a guy named John Derbyshire. Mm -hmm. um, he used to write for National Review, which honestly, I'm, um, National Review actually used to have a lot of pretty based people write for them. Mm -hmm. And that's no longer the case. Um, I th but I think he's maybe the one that's credited with it. Uh, there's another podcast I listen to and I, I recommend is called the Z blog power hour um, mm -hmm. by a guy who refers to himself as Z man. Um, he has a sub stack as well. And I, I think a few other things uh, also very uh, highly recommend him. Can't, can't say that enough um but as for who i would consider I, I think it's the way i would put it a lot of people push back against the label dissident right i i think it's a pretty pretty useful label um it, it's it's definitely not all one movement um there are definitely like warring factions within the dissident right for sure um that honestly probably hate each other as much as they hate like leftists. Um, but the, I would say if I could split it down into like almost, if I could split it into like two factions, there's definitely like the, uh, like the Nick Fuentes, like America first types that, that follow him. And um, I don't watch him. I, I haven't really, um, I haven't really paid a whole lot of attention to him. I mean, I've just from hearing some of his, uh, hearing a few speeches and stuff from him, like, I'll give him this. The guy has a lot of speaking talent. He's, he's a pretty gifted, gifted dude. Um, but, um, that, that whole side seems very, very obsessed with like almost singularly obsessed with Jewish power. Mm-hmm and uh jewish influence over western governments um but like and and, and i'm i'm never i'm never going to be someone to say like oh that's not something that's worth looking at because it definitely is um however just from seeing like them in comment sections and like on like tweet threads and stuff it it just seems so ham fisted, like to the point where like anybody who disagrees with them, they just pretty much say like, Oh, you're Jewish. hundred percent. So, so you have that faction and then you have like this, some would say like Nietzschean vitalist faction. Mm -hmm. Like if you're familiar with a, a guy that goes by the name of bronze age pervert. Yeah. Uh, BAP. Um, it's it's a much more much more secular, um, almost like genetic determinist in a way, um, part of the right. Um, and I, I have my I have my disagreements with them, but um, I think they speak about 
um, issues uh, in a lot more nuanced and more intelligent manner. And then you kind of have people in the middle. Like I think, I think you have people that can, can kind of appeal to like kind of the glue people within it. Um, I, I would say even someone like Aaron McIntyre or Pete Canones um, would fit that like guys that I think just take a good nuanced view on everything. But I would say if you're going to tell me to give like a definition of the dissident, right. Or like, I would say it's like a loosely held, I'm not even going to say coalition because it's like I said, there's warring factions within it, but I think they're all kind of held together by a few views. Actually, if you'll give me a second, um, I saw a really good tweet. Uh, I screenshotted it. If you'll give me a minute, I could try to find it and read it. Yeah, well, go ahead. I I tend to agree with you. I I have to tell you, it, it's fascinating looking at this because this is <laughs> analyzing the dissident right. Analyzing the right is is to me sort of like string theory with physicists because there are so many different groups that there and there's so much agreement, but then this, the disagreements are are so passionate, kind of like you're saying. Oh, very. Uh, that it's it's just so strong that it really becomes emotional it's almost like team sports of so we're team nick and we're team uh yarvin and Bad. we're team this over here and so actually uh, I, I, so I, I found this tweet and i'll read it and i think please. this is actually so this comes from a, a guy um maybe you're familiar with him he has a page called he's the the distributist yeah he's a youtube him. page uh and a sub stack um, another guy I would recommend some of his work. He, he's been, I know he's done some stuff with Arn and I know he's been on Pete's show. Um, but this is actually, a, I, I thought this was like pretty spot on. And it, it reads the core antithesis of the dissident right. One, all politics is based on a moral systems based on moral systems, which in turn are fundamentally religious. Two discourse without moral alignment is impossible. Three, human desire to be healthy must be restrained. Four, technology to be fruitful must be governed. Five, different human groups have radically different behavior. Governments must reflect this difference. Six, to be accountable, government must be particular to a people and a place. Seven, past social arrangements are sustainable in a way that contrived alternatives are not. Eight, politics involves real winners and real losers, punishments for enemies, rewards for friends. Otherwise, it accomplishes nothing. Hmm. And I think that's, I, I can speak to it way better than I can. So I'll go with that. Yeah, well said. I think that's really good. Um, I, I kind of wanted to, you know, I feel like, I feel like uh, the people that are not, you know, extremely held, holding on to like a cult of personality, sort of like the people who say, well, nothing that Trump says or does is wrong. There's a similar thing going on with the Groypers and Nick Fuentes. And look, some of them, some of them are not like that. Okay. Some people, not everyone that watches his show is, is like this. And a lot of them are sort of Buchananite conservatives. And I think that there's a lot of, of shared values there. No, no people, doubt about it. But, the, but those who make it all about a cult of personality, kind of like you said, as soon as you question them, they start with the ad hominems and, you know, correct or incorrect, whatever it is. Um, those, you know, I don't really have any time for games like that. I think that politics is a grown man's uh, sport. And it's, it's a game with, you know, dire consequences for winning and losing. And I'm serious about it. And people that just are interested in making a non accounts on Twitter, you're not really going to get a whole lot of results there. And, uh, you know, you have to actually be willing to step onto a podcast or put your thoughts in Substack or actually try to effectuate real political change and really try and dig into something deeper, not just stay on surface level.